Hi everyone, it's Mindy and Whitney and Juno. Come on, Juno. Come on, there. Come on, Jeremy and Juno. We're here to give you some amazing Major League Baseball plays. That's right, three of them that you can line your pocketbook with. That's for sure. But welcome to my show, uh, Data Driven Plays, where I give you my best statistical bets on the board. Right. So what I have is a Major League Baseball model. I then compare that model to Vegas opening lines. I chart all my plays, and then I know with a certain confidence factor, uh, how frequently these plays hit. And that's what I do is I try to give you those good statistical plays. All right, you guys ready for this? We're gonna do it, Whitney. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. We go. So we got play number one. It is going to be on this Cubs versus the Pirates game. I know the Cubs got us yesterday, darn it. Uh, but that's okay. We want our other two, not the Cubs, but that's how it goes sometimes. Whitney's kind of in my way. <laughs> of course she is. Uh, but we have Tyone on the mound. 6.84 ERA over his last five games. 3.77 here this season versus Keller. He's 5.76 over his last five. And also that way this season. So we're going to take a look here with the Cubs. Their offense is scoring 1.5 more runs per game than their season-long average so far. Of course, we're going back on him. We're going to redeem ourselves here today. They're showing up in a big way. Right now, the Cubs offense, they're 9.6% higher than the league average for all of those offensive impact categories. We're going to have to move Whitney on the table. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're taking the Cubs here. All right, next up. It is going to be game number two, right? This one is going to be, that's right, the Yankees versus the Nationals. They're in D.C. It is Nestor Cortez Jr., on the mound, 4.08 over his last five for ERA this season. So staying steady versus Peter Parker. I mean, M. Parker, uh, 3.95 ERA over his last five games, 4.62 this season. Yankees offense is struggling right now. I know they got him game two yesterday. I get it, but I look for something a little bit longer term here. Plus now they're on the road. They're 4.5% lower than their season-long average over the last five games. They fail to show up many a times. I mean, they were kind of only averaging about two runs per game. They're batting a whopping 205. I mean, that's like Mariners territory. And the Nationals offense, right? I mean, they're doing okay. They're getting it done. They beat the Braves. I mean, the Braves stink, but still. But we're going to take the Nationals here on the run line. I think they're sitting at minus 150. I actually have the Nationals winning this one outright. Uh, but again, I'm giving you the best statistical play. So it will be that one and a half. That one hits uh, above like 56%. The other one is kind of more like a 48er if you just take them on the money line. So I'm going to give you that best percentage. I actually have the Nationals winning this one outright. Three, two, four. And then lastly, it's going to be this game that I always talk about. Well, kind of always talk about. It's going to be the Rays versus the Mariners at T-Mobile. Ah, it's going to be the first to score three, maybe a total of six, something like that. Uh, but we have Pepio on the mound. He's been exceptional. And then we have, oh yeah, 1.59 here over his last five, 3.65. I mean, you can't find that 1.59. That is amazing over a five game stretch. Then you have Miller on the mound for the Mariners. He's been great as well. Just doesn't get the ground support at all. 2.93. ERA this season over the last five, 3.32, been very, very steady. The Rays bullpen has been getting it done. They actually averaged 2.725 runs less than this Mariners team in the bullpen. Mariners will probably be ahead till late and they will give it up. I have the Rays on the money line here today in this one. I think it's a little bit of plus money here. Let me look real quick because um, I forgot to write it down, but I have the Rays here on the money line winning three to two. Yeah, Rays are plus 102 right now on the money line, so we'll get a little bit of plus money there. Good luck with the plays. Uh, we will go ahead and catch you guys tomorrow. But before we do that, before I let you go, make sure you guys check out on our sister channel. We have another little website. No, I should say YouTube. I'll get it straight eventually. YouTube, so powered by Tony's Fix is the OG Sports Network where you can find additional, additional stuff, you guys. So if you want, if you like these three, I give my full rundown, the full 15, the full 11, whichever for tomorrow. You can see other cappers like CJ and Bo, they're getting it done. You can also see here, we have Bo uh, doing a whole video series. So if you want even more plays to find even more consensus, 
between Tony's picks and the other cappers, they are all here. So why don't you go ahead and give us a like and subscribe here at Tony's Picks, and then also a like and subscribe at the OG Sports Network to get all of the sports that you can handle in one day. All right, that's all I got, you guys. Have a great day. I will catch you tomorrow.